this is a continuation of uh, consuming the WCF uh, so uh, in the up to the last video so I'll re rewind back so uh, I just uh, create instant of web client so uh, I just formatted uh, the URL that URL I just use uh, web client dot download data I just uh, push that uh, service URL and uh, just downloaded the data th in a bright and then I just use the stream uh, through stream I just convert uh, 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 converted uh, bytes I just paused and uh, it is in the stream now uh, so uh, my data is in streaming uh, okay so now uh, I want to enable the uh, reader here so by using the stream reader I going to uh, stream uh, whatever the object in the stream I going to get so here I just uh, declare a variable called read so this data okay new uh, stream reader so here I, I going to pass the instance of a uh, stream object okay so my streamed object is here then finally I just uh, pass where dot result okay reader dot read to end I just uh, gone to read my all the data okay I uh, hopes uh, my all the data uh, I will get uh, through like this uh, so okay I just went back a bit so this is my uh, uh, class in a web client so uh, in the service patient I going to pass my ID so that will hit here so uh, let's uh, keep the breakpoint so it will convert my into and it will create the object uh, database object and it will get my uh, result of patient result so oops my service is running so we'll go and uh, run the application client application okay my application is loading okay I just uh, go and uh, see my uh, data before that I just want to open my data WCF uh, this is my database I have so this is the table I think my application is get loaded so meanwhile we'll just uh, go and check okay I have two records uh, called uh, name Arun and the number so by ID I going to get uh, let's see we'll go and get the data first Mm, okay in the UI I go and uh, type patient ID 1 go and get the patient it's hit at my breakpoint okay my web plane is initialized so I formatted my URL that uh, URL I going to pass uh, to the download stream so it's hit at uh, my service this is a breakpoint is in my service so it hopes uh, this will go and uh, get my result so, okay it will uh, okay I just uh, cut it out okay my data I got uh, my data in a byte format so now I push this to the stream so my stream ha has the object stream memory object so that memory object I want to read it by using the stream reader so my uh, reader got the results so that uh, will go by using the read to end okay finally I got my result in a JSON format so ID is one name is Arun and the date of birth so this format I will get normally in a JSON okay so finally uh, this uh, we got the result like this okay so my place is Bangalore this is what the data that uh, we have in a database that uh, I am fetching over here okay I hope so uh, uh, we uh, we consume the uh, data in a correct way okay I don't want to check this in a runtime so bit uh, some on the way that we going to do uh, I just uh, So this result I want to push uh, uh, to the page how to do that one yeah 
it's a uh, very simple i just uh, gone to bind uh, uh, okay okay where is it uh, yeah okay i think uh, this much is enough for this uh, tutorial loops so that uh, you will have on conclusion that uh, we will get the final uh, result so uh, from now, uh, now how to display um, this reader uh, json data uh, in a different formats like i just want to display like a details or uh, uh, display in a uh, in a fashion of uh, some uh, to the text box or uh, in a list so in uh, in a future video we will go and uh, just uh, uh, see uh, all the all the operation by getting the list and getting the single record and also how to add from uh, a WCF how to update from the WCF so we're going to see that one so keep watching the video guys uh, hope see you enjoying this video if you have any queries please comment us